Taiwan's ambassador participated in an online class of the Sir Ira Simmons Secondary School. As he experienced the classroom environment, students have become used to online in the advent of the COVID-19 pandemic. Lisa Joseph reports. The education system in St. Lucia is coping and adapting to abrupt changes due to COVID-19. The shift to digital learning has posed challenges while simultaneously offering opportunity to enact new teaching methods. As such, authorities continue to innovate in order to provide the best online education experience for teachers and students. The governments of St. Lucia and Taiwan, through collaborative effort, engineered the ICT in Education project. The project aims to create smart classrooms as a means of tackling some of the issues which include the unavailability of technology and low student morale. Sir Ira Simmons Secondary is one of the schools benefiting from the pilot on this project. Ambassador of Taiwan, His Excellency Peter Chen, and officials from the Ministry of Education joined a fifth form class of Sir Ira Simmons to experience the online learning environment. I recently read about a company called Zibling that has used drones to deliver medicine supplies in Ghana since 2016. This year, they have even started to deliver COVID-19 vaccines to rural areas, making proper road works. This is where ICT shine brightest developing creative methods which help ensure equitable access. The company's founder is Mr. Keller Renato, a young and energetic entrepreneur who loves robotics and ICT. And he is not much older than you all. So you can become the next Keller Renato. Think about what you want to do with your time and effort Ambassador Chen extended appreciation to the classroom teacher for the opportunity to join the session and for her diligent effort to teach in. English teacher at Sir Ira Simmons, Abigail Jean-Joseph, says she was honored by the visit. It was an opportunity to present how we integrate technology in the teaching and learning environment and how we try to motivate students and teach them while they're at home. Um, we're also benefited or we have benefited from a lot of technology, a lot of devices so that our school can become a smart school. And so it was a wonderful experience to show how we use things like Book Creator and Classcraft, how we've gamified the Google Classroom so that students can participate fully and be motivated even while at home. Chief Education Officer in the Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations, Dr. Fiona Philip Meyer, was also in attendance. She challenged the students to help motivate their peers to attend classes. Do you know why? The resources have been made available to you. The teachers are trying to be as creative as possible with you, doing things out of the box to encourage you. And I can appreciate, I know it's been a difficult time. I know that most of us have had enough, but let, let us hold on. Let us hold on just a little longer and persevere through these times because they will come to an end. But what we cannot do at this time is to allow for our lack of participation to impact, to impact our education. Teacher Jean Joseph thanked the students for their participation in the fruitful discussion with officials. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.